Well, this is certainly the most delightful assignment we've had in a long time. Sitting here poolside at the home of the Perry Nichols in Dallas. And uh, no, it isn't Esther Williams. It's <laughs> Mrs. Robert Schuler, and you probably know her better as Patrice Munsell. Patrice, thank you so much for it, inviting us here today. And we'll get you a microphone here. Oh, thank you very much. Isn't it a glorious day, though? It is indeed. And I'm, uh, I must say, I'm a little em envious I didn't bring a suit and hop in there with you. I, well, I'm always a day late this, and a let's dollar do it. short. <laughs> can you hold this for a second while I get my Shirt on. Yes, indeed. And then we can continue with all of this. Well, I want to say, first of all, Patrice, that uh, I think I know that uh, the Merry Widow has been around a long, long time. And I say without fear of contradiction that you surely are the merriest, the gayest, the most beautiful, the most charming Merry Widow that, oh, my uh, dear, continue. Uh, that anyone <laughs> could ever hope to see. Thank you. Well, I think. There's a good reason why The Widow has been so successful for so long. You know, I think its first production was in about 1905. And I don't believe there has been a year since that time that it has not had a production somewhere. And uh, the public comes year after year after year and seems to just adore the wonderful music that they're so familiar with and, and the corny, funny old jokes and everything. And uh, I love playing this part, I think, more than any other, except perhaps Kiss Me Kate. I think it's the most delicious part to play. It has everything in the world. Of course, the audiences at the State Fair Music Hall love you, Patrice, and, and I noticed uh, the night I was there that the thing that really tore them up is that can-can you do. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It is. Oh, well, the most wonderful time. The boys, now they're so secure doing it, but there for a couple of days, they were terrified because they're throwing me through the air in all different kinds of ways. And, uh, oh, there's our poor, dear, brand new Great Dane puppy. He's so darling. I think he wants to get into the act. Oh, well, let him come on. <laughs> but now everything is, has gotten very secure, mm -hmm. and we all have the most wonderful time doing that can, can Well, it's obvious that you are enjoying it very much, and the people who were seated behind me the night I was there, Patrice, every time you made an entrance in a new and glamorous costume, these women were just beside themselves. <laughs> are, are these from your own wardrobe, the costumes? No, these were created for the Merry Widow last year in um, Los Angeles and San Francisco for the Civic Light Opera. But they were done by René Hubert mm -hmm. that uh, the Civic Light Opera flew over from Paris to do the clothes. And they're quite extraordinary. They they're are. They are. Very the simple, but beautiful, beautiful gowns. And they're the glamorous. Quite and wonderful. of course, well, you do so much for the gown, if I might <laughs> say. Thank you. And of course, uh, another thing these women behind me were saying, they were saying, and you know she has four small children. Look at that figure. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any, uh, do you have to work at dieting, or does it just come easy? I don't. We, um, skin dive and ski and, oh, do you? and uh, oh, climb mountains and generally stay active all the time. And then with things like the can-can to do every, you know, few months, I usually try to keep doing a ballet bar all the time. And that keeps me in very good condition. But I, I'm one of those very, very fortunate women who um, can eat anything <laughs> and, and not have to diet. And it's a Big great blessing. Sundays and all that type well, of fortunately, thing. I don't really care very much about those You know, those I don't things. either. That's the truth. And I could that's eat a why ton I'm of blessed. Them. You know, I think once in a while I like them, but not as a not as a habit. Uh -huh. You know, I think another very fortunate thing about you, Patrice, is the fact that you always, or most always, can have your family with you, and I think that's so terrific. Oh, we do. Bob and I really just don't accept anything unless we can take all the children along, and. Uh, it means we can have a great deal of fun with them, and they can have fun with us, and we can still continue the work that we both enjoy very much. My husband is, loves the theater and is in the theater. And it makes life absolutely perfect. We pick up the dogs and the cats, and we nearly brought the pony along this time. <laughs> and uh, our staff goes along, and... and they just feel completely at home, no matter where they are. I think that, that sun is so bright, yes, isn't it? Yes, isn't Ooh. it? I'm keeping up my Vegas tan. <laughs> Patrice, one other thing I wanted to talk with you about. Of course, your versatility has always just knocked me out. And now you've made a jazz album. Oh, yes. That was probably one of the most exciting things I have ever done in my life, because it, well, it's called unpredictable. And for me, it was completely unpredictable, because we worked on the arrangements. Phil Moore, who was a great jazz musician, did the arrangements for me. And 
when it came time to record them, uh, he said, he just put me in the booth and said, let yourself go and have a marvelous time. Relax and let everything that you've ever wanted to sound like come out, you know. And uh, that's exactly what we did. And it was a unique experience for me. Jazz musicians are simply fabulous. I, I love jazz, of course. And I don't know if you know, but your little boy brought this jacket for me to look at. <laughs> and uh, the unpredictable jacket. Oh, that's and, his uh, very own album. Well, what is this? Uh, he wanted me to look at this, and I haven't looked at it yet. But oh, this bless picture. His heart. Oh, it has an inscription. What is the story behind this, no. Patrice? He had seen me, this is my seven-year-old son, had seen me giving out autographed photographs to other people. And he came to me the other day and he said, please, Mommy, may I have an autographed photograph, too, for my very own? <laughs> and so this is Cokie Schuler's very own autographed photograph. What does it say? And it says, to my dearest Cokie, with love and kisses, Patrice Mommy Schuler. <laughs> and I'm sure that that probably is the greatest compliment you've ever had. It was. I was so proud, really, and just so delighted. So this is his very own special one. Patrice, are we uh, going to have a chance to see you on TV some this next year? Yes, I'm doing the first Firestone Hour on, um, I don't know whether it's on this channel or not. If, if uh, it's NBC, you're on the right <laughs> channel. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, you know, it was off the air for a year, and I think the public responded in one of those enormous ways where uh, they just protested the Firestone Hour going off the air uh -huh. and brought it back which shows that the public can bring back things if they want to. And the first one, I believe, is October 10th or 13th, uh -huh. and I'm doing the first one of those. Uh -huh. And then my husband is producing a show for Broadway next year called Chrysanthemum. And uh, I'm going to do as little as possible as I can, because I think he'll need all the peace and relaxation he can get at home <laughs> <laughs> to produce this show. So I'm going to be spending, I think, a great deal of time just at home this next winter. But we shall see. We never know from one month or one week or one day to the next, really, where we're going to be. Because, as, as your album says so beautifully, it's unpredictable <laughs> for you. <laughs> Patrice Munsell, thank you so very, very much for being our guest today and for allowing us to come here poolside. It's just a delightful assignment for us. Well, bless you. I adore having you here. If all interviews could be done like this, it would be a joy. Yeah, it would be no work at all. We'd have to <laughs> pay them, all. Patrice, and that wouldn't do it all. <laughs> so thank you again, um, Patrice, and I hope I'll see you again very very Thank soon. you for coming. It's always a delight to be here.